Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're gonna to dig into the differences between the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo versus the budget cooler, the Peerless Assassin 120SE. First up is the Arctic Freezer, a compact cooler with two 120 millimeter fans, four heat pipes, and available in various colors for a sleek touch to any build. Despite its size, it delivers impressive cooling performance. Next, we have the Peerless Assassin 120SE, a budget-friendly dual tower cooler with two 120mm fans, six heat pipes, and a versatile black and metallic accent, suitable for any setup. The Peerless Assassin is well known for delivering outstanding cooling capabilities at an attractive price point. However, we know you're here to see how these two coolers stack up in terms of performance, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left, represented by the saw line, noise on the right, represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Payless Assassin in red has similar cooling performance as the Arctic Freezer in blue. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Payless Assassin outperforms at the lower RPMs, but this difference shrinks to minimal levels as the fans approach 100% fan speed. However, the Payless Assassin is slightly louder at the higher RPMs. As we pump up the heat to overclock levels of 125 watts, the coolers observe similar cooling performance above 50% fan speed. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom with lower being better. At idle, both coolers perform similarly, and as we pump up the heat to 105 watts, we can observe minor differences in temperatures across the board. And when we push the CPU to 125 watts, we can see that the Arctic slightly outperforms at the lower decimals, but the Peerless Assassin gains the upper hand above 40 decimals. And if you're curious how the Peerless Assassin SE version stacks up against the regular Peerless Assassin, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button.